Welcome to our Google AdWords tutorial. In our fourth video, we'll explore a way to work with your AdWords account offline. What we'll talk about in this video is an alternative way to work on your Google AdWords account. You don't necessarily even need to log in to manage your account through the web browser. And you don't necessarily even need to be online to make changes to your account, as you'll see. The easiest way to demonstrate this is to begin by searching for Google AdWords Editor, which Google offers for free. Here's the address, services.google.com forward slash AdWords Editor. When we arrive at that site, you have the option of picking your operating system, Windows or Mac, download, and then save file. You can save it wherever you wish on your computer, but in this example, I'll save it to the desktop. It takes just a few moments to download. And that's it. It's already downloaded. Now I'll go to my desktop and as usual, double click the icon to install. We'll click Next on the AdWords Editor Setup Wizard. We'll save it in the default location and leave the user as just me, though you could click on everyone just as well. Click Next and it takes just a few seconds for the program to install. And it's done. Click Close on the installer and then let me reopen the program itself. Since we're opening it for the first time, I'll just scroll down and accept the terms, and then it opens up ready to go. First of all, you'll need to enter your account access email. In my case, it's this is a demo at gmail.com and then the password. We'll click on OK. Now it should be collecting the most up-to-date details from my existing AdWords account. And after a slight pause, you can see that that's what it's doing. And it's all done. Let's just maximize that, and then let's look here to the left of the screen to see a summary of our account. At the top is our account login, and below that is our advertising campaign. Remember, we just have one at this time. If you click on the plus sign, the folder opens to show your ad groups. Click on the ad group you chose, and over at the right now, the program shows your ad groups and details about your ad groups, including the group name, status, maximum cost per click. If you click on this tab, it will tell you if you have any negative keywords. Click here, and it shows you the ads themselves. Let me just resize this a little to make more room. And if you click on the ad, all the information such as headline, description lines, and the URLs appears here. You can see that if you change the text, you'll see the changes in the preview. So as you can see, this has all the functionality of your AdWords account, but through software residing on your computer, so you don't need to be online. Obviously, you do need to be online if you want to log in and download your details. For example, if I click on the Get Recent Changes tab, it checks the web and in this case tells me there are no recent changes found. But if you want to make changes, you don't have to be online. You can make changes to your account with this software and then click on Post Changes. So this may be an option for you, or you may prefer to work this way. I've noticed that if you choose to show statistics from the last 30 days, it can be a bit of a problem. 
you get so many columns of information that it can be very crowded. So that's one shortcoming of this option. It seems to be laid out better in the online system. But if we turn off this tab, you get fewer columns and it becomes much more readable. That's a quick introduction to how you can get the offline AdWords editor and an overview of its main functionality. As I mentioned, it provides the same functions as the Google account, it allows you to work directly on your hard drive rather than through the browser, and it allows you to post your changes at a later time when you are connected to the Internet.